Now I love testing golf clubs from all the major brands, but it can also be a bit problematic. It'd be so easy to keep swapping out clubs and the one club I have always seen as my nemesis is the driver. And as such, the one I am most likely to tinker with. But I cannot ignore the fact that I have felt that this year, one driver has outperformed all others. This driver isn't the longest and it isn't for everyone, but it is the most consistent driver in my hands. you might have seen in recent weeks there's a lot of images being released on social media about new releases that are coming tailor-made cobra pxg wouldn't be surprised if we see something from callaway and their imminence they're due in early 2024 so the first question is which are you most looking forward to testing out yourself or is it absolutely none of them you see this video all came about with a bit of realisation when I come to put my bag together on what was a slightly competitive game, certainly a social game, one that I don't play very often. And someone reminded me that the driver I put in my bag is always the same one when it comes to the crunch. And many of you would describe this as not even being a driver, maybe a two wood at best or a strong three wood. And I totally disagree. And in today's video, I'm going to show you why. The mini driver from TaylorMade is my driver to beat in 2024. I still think they're going to find it hard to get this out of my bag. And I'll also show you why it isn't a strong three wood nor a two wood. Today's video is sponsored by our friends at Hot Golf, the online golf retailer for all major brands. And if you want new golf gear, then please support us by supporting them. And there are many reasons as to why I just can't get this golf club out of my bag. And none more so than that, to be honest with you. I just do not seem to miss fairways, well certainly not as many as I do with other drivers and there's one main reason for that in my opinion and it being the length of shaft because that's all important for me is the control element one of the issues with my personal game is that i lose a little bit of a control the minute i go to those long shafted drivers so 45 and a half inch driver shaft and i am losing control of that club head then what happens is i'm not finding the center of the club face that means i'm potentially doing a lot of things but one main thing is losing in terms of ball speed not finding out the center and I tend to do that more often with this shorter shaft, always been the case for me. But then just maybe this Pro Force shaft that's fitted into this mini driver is just really, really good and suits my swing type. I don't know. I don't know the reasons, but all I know is the combination between the two means that when I stand at address, first of all, I feel really close to that club head. That club head is also of a size that's smaller than your normal driver, but much bigger than that of a three wood. So the combination, big head, shorter shaft, it just gives me ultimate confidence when I'm stood on the tee. And as we know, that confidence element is key. It plays such a big part. Now you see, for me, there are two things that really separate this from being anything like a three wood. One is the profile. It's not just the fact their head is bigger, there's a reason why that makes a difference. And the second is dry ball data clearly demonstrates that at least in my hands, this performs nothing like a three wood. Now, clearly my views on the mini driver are I think shared by a minimal amount of golfers in many ways, because if this was hugely popular, then it would clearly be uh, more available and their head size and the shape, uh, length of shaft rather, would surely be made available every new release that TaylorMade make. And they don't. 
So I've got a feeling I'm in the minority as to why I feel this is so good. So what makes the driver quite unique and why 2024 is gonna struggle for me to persuade me to change is because, first of all, that 300cc head is quite unique in itself. And then you've got a weighting system, which is a 15 gram weight and a one and a half gram weight. And you can switch those around depending on what you're trying to achieve. Again, quite a unique setup. But what's very different for me in terms of the loft, I've got the 13 and a half degree head and I've cranked it down by two degrees, which makes it 11 and a half. But it's still a very penetrating ball flight. And where again, I'm very confused at how this driver works in its setup. If I was to pick up a driver with a 12 degree head, I would be launching a ball into orbit. But the combination I've got of 15 grams of weight back, 11 and a half degrees in terms of loft, it's firing out there like a bullet. And it's a very penetrating ball flight for me, but still got plenty of carry distance, just the right amount of spin as well, which you'll see from the dry ball data a little bit later on in this video. So all round, a very unique concept, this mini driver. And I'm not sure they're still gonna bring anything out in 2024 that's gonna make me wanna change. Now, I will mention before we finish this review that the styling and looks of this club is very much a personal thing, I know, but it's got a bit of a retro feel to it. Not only the way that it's coloured and put together, the logo is very much old school, tailor made, as is that head cover. I love everything about this driver. But finally, I'm just going to show you some dry ball data for those of you who do question whether this is a three wood equivalent. And uh, I think this sort of puts that argument to bed. And very simply, I mean, there's three elements that I'll focus on carry distance where this is sort of uh, 16 yards longer in terms of carry spin number is fairly similar in terms of that spin and then you've got a launch angle which is a degree or two higher with an 11 and a half degree driver head which blows my mind and probably yours but that's the way these numbers work and that's what this head shape does by placing that weight at the back far back that you can get it on any other three wood that's on the market pretty much at least anyway it allows you to launch the ball super high you're getting those carry distance with that optimal spin number as well that's where you're getting for me anyway a much greater carry distance and therefore it's certainly not a three wood is the best driver in my hands this year in terms of consistency it's not the longest driver i've tested but overall it gives me massive confidence and i've always said throughout ever since they brought this back out in 2020 i think it was these should be in the hands of more average golfers and maybe what i mean by that is maybe the length of shaft is the biggest thing that should happen in terms of drivers for average golfers and gain some of that greater control so 2024 as ever early on january there'll be a lot happening you'll see every review featured on this channel what i'd like to know from you what are you looking forward to and how impressed are you with this tailor-made mini driver and how many of you are looking forward to something new in 2024 right that's me done thanks for watching as ever and i'll see you all soon